So a lot of people have heard the, um, the phrase that cancer and all disease cannot live in an alkaline environment. And so the logical conclusion is to eat an alkaline diet and to drink alkaline water. Now, an alkaline diet is an all raw diet, basically. When you, as soon as you cook food, it becomes acidic, even vegetables. As soon as you microwave food, it becomes acidic. Um, so if you want to have a purely alkaline diet, then you would have a pure raw diet, which is super hard to do. Trust me, I've done it. I actually did it for a year when I had cancer. And it's, it's just not sustainable. It makes, <laughs> it makes holidays um, lousy, by the way. Um, when I heard about alkaline water, I thought, oh, it's a shortcut until I did a lot of research. Um, but Kangen water is so much more than alkaline water, and I just kind of want to put some pH drops in here and, and show you the difference of the pHs. Um, but before I go into that, let's go back to the bottled water issue. So we put millions of pounds of plastic into the environment. Um, not all because of plastic drinking water bottles, but it's a huge, huge part of the problem. People are scared to drink tap water. They know it's lousy. They know it's not good for them. And the bad news is, is that most tap water or most bottled water is tap water. Some of it's filtered and some of it isn't. So it's really hard to know what you're actually getting when you purchase a bottle of water because they're not required to disclose the source. As a matter of fact, if you buy a bottle of water in Washington and it's, if it's bottled in Washington and sold in Washington, in other words, it doesn't cross the state lines, it's actually not even required to be tested. So you don't have no idea what is in your water. Um, and the alkaline waters that I'm gonna show you here real quick are, they have a lot of ingredients in them, which I find fascinating, but it's the only way that they can attain the, that, the pH. So I'm just gonna put a few drops in. This is Propel. It says electrolyte water beverage. So if I were to look at a pH scale, and I will post one below, so I don't have one up right now. Um, it's very, very acidic. So these are about three on the pH scale. Now the pH scale is logarithmic. So anything below seven is gonna be acidic and anything above seven is gonna be alkaline. So I'm looking for something that is green or blue or above. So this is called Cure. It's a fancy way to say it doesn't cure anything, but it says it's a pH of 10. And I bought it at a store and it was on sale, so I spent $2.19 on this. And if you look at it, yep, that's about pH 10, all right. Um, $2.19 will get you, hmm, it will get you a bunch of minerals because what it says is purified water infused with electrolyte minerals, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and potassium for taste. So, if they did not put those minerals in there, it wouldn't be alkaline because water is actually neutral. So what we've done, I like this one. So the thing about bottled water is you have no idea, A, where it came from, B, how long it's been sitting in that bottle. So water is a solvent and a scavenger. So when I put it in a plastic container and I put it on the shelf, and whether I've heated or cooled it, that just makes it worse and really we don't know. Um, but how long it sits in that bottle is going to determine how alkaline it is because it's gonna be pulling the um, bisphenols and the xenoestrogens and the you know, um, dioxins and all of the things that are in plastic bottles that most of us can't pronounce, but they're, all of them are toxic. And every single cancer person tested has those chemicals in their body. So that's called a clue. So um, as you can see, this Essentia 9.5 or higher isn't. So this is a brand new bottle that I just opened and it says ionized alkaline water with electrolytes for taste. So I'm sure when they put it in the bottle it was all of those things and we have no way of knowing how long it's been in there. Ingredients, purified water, sodium bicarbonate, dipotassium phosphate, I think I'm pronouncing that right, um, <laughs> magnesium sulfate and calcium chloride plus electrolytes for taste. So I want to ask you, when did water start having ingredients? 
water is H2O. And unless you're drinking bottled water, and then it's a bunch of things that you can't pronounce. That's called a clue. So really, we should know what we're putting in our body. So this is Congen water, pH 9.5. Just made it a little 10 minutes ago. And as you can see, it is actually 9.5. Now it's 9.5 because I ran it through an electrolysis system where the water is energized and separated. So you've got hydrogen and oxygen, and they're separated into the alkaline and the acidic components. So what we've got is extra electrons. We've got more potential hydrogen. So what that means is it's energy and it's more easily able to balance your body out and get the good stuff into your cells and get the bad stuff out of your cells. Because when you're drinking a bunch of minerals that are inorganic, that are not assimilable, what you're gonna wind up with is a body that's storing calcium and it's storing minerals that your body can't use. And what you're doing long term is you're throwing the pH off of your stomach. Now, because of the other three properties of Kangen water, it goes right through your stomach walls. So next week I'm gonna talk about the restructuring of the water and why it, why it doesn't bloat you when you drink it, why it travels right through your stomach walls, and why it actually um, helps your body get rid of the acid that's stuck in your cells. Because it's not just about the alkalinity, it's about how the three properties work together to raise the pH, to make the water molecules smaller, and to infuse your body with antioxidants to take you out of fight or flight mode so that you can actually absorb the water you're drinking. Because if you're drinking a bunch of water that you can't, that has minerals in it that you can't absorb, you're gonna be bloated, you're gonna hold on to minerals, and you're, gonna, you're looking for trouble long term. So when people ask me, well, won't that just mess up the pH of my stomach? The short answer is no. The long answer, I'm gonna put it in the comments down below. Um, it's, it's a bigger conversation than I wanna have on a Facebook Live, but I, I would like to just put to rest some of the misinformation that's out there because drinking bottled, and alkal, bottled alkaline water actually will harm you long term. But drinking Kangen water, which has, by the way, been a medical device in Japan, which is the hardest country in the world to get medical certification in, it's been 45 years. The Japanese have been drinking this water. And for 45 years, they are number one in health and longevity. That's not a coincidence. So long term, I have been drinking this water for 11 years. I'm healthier now than I was in my 20s. So if you have never tried the water and you would like to try the water, come on down, uh, put in hashtag Vancouver Water Club and find out what we're doing here at the Congen Water Store. Hashtag live, hashtag replay. I'd love to know um, your questions. Type your questions in now. If you have any questions, Marty is um, reading the Facebook Live and I'm happy to answer them. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay, and just go ahead and type your question in. I'll circle back and answer all of them. Um, the other thing I wanna talk about just real quick is the cost of these bottled waters. So this one I bought on sale was $2, okay? If you were drinking just one of these, which is what, 50 ounces. If you were just drinking one of these a day, it's gonna cost you 60 bucks a month per person. We have financing for these machines that start at $44 a month. And that's not per person, that's for your entire family. That's for the entire neighborhood if you feel like sharing water and helping out your neighbors. Um, with a push of a button, I can change the pH of the water to 8.5, 9.0, 9.5. And I also have the ability to make 2.5 strong acidic water, which is used as a hand sanitizer and used as a disinfectant. This will kill 99.99% of all bacteria and viruses, and it's all made with one machine that will cost you less than a single person drinking bottled water. So if you're thinking, oh my gosh, that's too expensive, really just change the way you're looking at it. Um, change your water, change your life. I'm Mickey Meisner, hashtag live, hashtag replay. Oh, there's a question. I'm gonna hang out. How does it work? It works great. Does it really work? It absolutely works. And you know, the science has been there for a long time. Um, we are certified by the Japanese Association of um, Geriatric Onset 
it's equivalent of FDA. <laughs> I'm on Facebook Live and I'm nervous, I can't remember the name of it. But we have medical cert certifications. We are certified by um, the Water Quality Association. We, are, we have, are backed by 6,500 Japanese medical doctors for 45 years. So somebody said to me, oh, it's a scam. It's one of those pyramid things. And you know, my reply to that, if it is, it's a really good one because it's been going on for a long time. Now I've been doing this for 40, no, not 45 years. I've been doing this for 11 years and I've literally shared this water with hundreds, if not thousands of people. And I can share water with 100 people and 98% of them will report amazing changes. I'm not allowed to share those because they are considered medical claims. So I invite you to talk to people that have drank the water or do some real research, which means take it for a test drive in your body because research is a hands-on experiment. And when you drink this water, especially if you, you, know, you get it fresh and you're drinking adequate amounts, you almost can't not feel something different. So it just hydrates better. At the end of the day, all of the properties, blocking the machine, all of the properties work together to hydrate you better, but your body is 75% water. So the quality of that water really matters, even as the pH does, but the, the quality and the structure and where the water came from, it matters. So we have a mirror here at the Congren Water Store and I'm fond of taking people to the mirror and having them look at their own reflection. It's not to check out your hair, it's to remind people who is responsible for your health. These doctors are not responsible for your health. The government certainly isn't responsible for your health. We are responsible for our own health as, and as individuals and it's, it's in our best interest to do whatever we can to stay healthy, especially right now with everything that's going on. People are concerned about their health and rightly so. And what is the one thing that people always say when you get a cold, when you get a flu, or when you're trying to prevent one, they say stay hydrated. They say drink lots of liquids. So does the quality of those liquids matter? You better believe it does, because your body's 75% water. So you are what you eat, that's true, but you're also what you drink, even more so. So are there any more questions? No more live questions? Okay, so if you have a question, feel free to put it in the comments. I'm more than happy to circle back and answer it later. I'm gonna post some, in the comments, I'm gonna post some, uh, some links. Um, back to the question, does it work? Um, or how do you research it? I will, if you go to PubMed and type in ERW, which stands for Electronically Reduced Water, you'll find some real information. If you go to the Google search and put in Kangen, you're gonna get a bunch of misinformation and ads and you know people using the word Kangen to steer you down their rabbit hole. Um, and just to say there are no unbiased reviews. There's no website that somebody didn't pay for. So if you're looking at somebody's website that they're trying to do you a favor um, to keep you out of trouble from you know drinking Kangen water, just consider the source and I encourage you to take it for a test drive in your body and talk to people that have. I'm Mickey Meisner at the Kangen Water Store. Again, hashtag replay, hashtag live if you saw this live. Appreciate your feedback and we will see you next Tuesday at 11 o'clock. We're gonna do this every week.